order to create a pre-order store, we're going to be using the tool called BackerKit. And BackerKit is also the sponsor of today's video. They have a very simple, very easy way to set up an online store. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. So first you create an account. I already have an account with these guys, so I would just log into my account as a project creator, and it brings you to the BackerKit dashboard. On this dashboard, you can see a lot of different functionality here. Um, this is a tool actually mainly used to help people doing surveys after they've run a successful crowdfunding campaign. And it sort of help um, with all of the different backer information you have after doing a successful Kickstarter. And they also now have this new referral program where if you refer a new creator to BackerKit, they actually pledge $100 as a donation to the campaign of your choice. And that can also be your campaign. So what I want to show you here is how to create a pre-order store and how to do this in BackerKit. Now, I already have a little bit of info here filled out for my store. I'm pretty much going to go back through this and I want to show you how simple this is. So the first thing we'll start when you come here, it's going to have a closed store and it'll have a link there. Um, I have this as now an open store so we can we can view this on the web. But basically, I'm going to start by uploading the brand image that I want to have um, for my store. So we'll change up this image from this one to me being on a beach here. This is a pretty cool image. I have no idea how we, how I was able to get this shot with a seagull there. That's pretty dope. Um, you can also then choose your brand color. So instead of choosing green, why don't I choose red? And then we have our logo here. So all you do is upload your brand logo. For me, that is Crowdcrux. Crowdcrux is my blog, also my brand. Um, and I started that website in 2012. Other stuff you can do here is you can change out the design of the store. So like default or wide, you can change the store title. Let's change this from crowd crux to also be, I'll add in here, uh, crowdfunding demystified because that's the name of my podcast and also my YouTube channel. Then you have some description here, like information, education for crowdfunders. I help um, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs raise money with a successful crowdfunding campaign. Um, and then you have your featured image or item. This would be like if you have a specific add-on that you want to feature with your online store, which I'll get into in just a second how to create those. But um, that you can also change like you want to pre-order this, do you want to order this? If this is already available to be ordered, you can basically function as an online store. You can also show crowdfunding statistics. So let's just say you ended up raising um, $100,000 on Indiegogo or on Kickstarter, and you want to show that to people so they know this is a legitimate store. You are serious about this. You could show crowdfunding stats. You can also show the amount of funding that has been raised in BackerKit for this featured online item. You can set your estimated shipping date if you wanted to. I mean, just for, for, for giggles, we'll, we'll say here one of the featured items is my book, the Kickstarter launch formula. And although it's already shipping, we'll just say that this, this is going to start shipping in May uh, 3rd of 2019. I forgot it's already 2019. Jeez, time is flying. Um, we also then have under here that the store, you have a promotional banner. So this could be if you're trying to like um, basically draw people's attention to maybe a launch special or something that's for one week only, you could customize this promotional banner right here. You could also add a countdown timer. So let's just say you want to have a countdown timer of March seventh i don't know why seventh a 2019 at let's just say 12 o'clock a.m this would be a countdown timer and then finally you have this link which backer kit gives you that basically allows you to promote this on spotlight so this would be for spotlight um, after the campaign is finished you can include this link and it will then direct to your pre-order page and you click save pre-order settings so this is kind of setting up a very simple store and I want to show you what that looks like and how simple that was to do this literally took like a matter of minutes guys um, so you have what I mentioned here this is the countdown timer six days 12 hours and 59 minutes something really important is happening which is creating urgency number one big um, aspect of marketing that I teach in my course and my products and my my books is always create urgency when you can you know it has to be legitimate urgency um, with your promotions because that gets people to take action so there's this this one header here you have my logo which we upload it you then have this image of me with the seagull looking kind of like <laughs> badass I don't know uh, oh, so at least that's how I was trying to look i don't know if i accomplished that uh and then have the, my name uh crowd crux and the crowdfunding demystified have the title there and you have a little bit of information about the page probably would have made this a little bit better and also like 
if you're putting together, um, you know, more sound bites here, you could also do stuff like you could say, um, great books. This is just, I'm just having this off the, off the cuff, incredible podcast, helpful videos. You, you want to have like bullet points basically of what it is that are the benefits of what it, whatever it is that you're selling. So maybe it could be um, great functionality or it could be um, this helps do it two times faster or like whatever basically the benefits are that you have with your product. You'd want to list those out here and, you know, make this a little, look, look a little bit better um, than it is there. In addition, you have this block, which if I had attach this to a successful Kickstarter campaign, maybe one one, one that my coaches, uh, my students have, have raised for my coaching program, I could link this here and they could click right here, view the campaign, and it would take them to that campaign on Kickstarter and it would show this campaign has raised, you know, $100,000 or $200,000 and people could see that. And that's really where the social validation comes in. When someone has seen that you've raised a bunch of money, that makes them way more likely to be interested in what it is that you're selling and also take a look. So this is a very nice looking, I think, a really nice looking pre-order store and it was made very quickly in a matter of minutes. I also wanna get into now like how do you actually add items to this store? So you have this, this little section here uh, called item list. In item list, you can add different pre-order items that you will sell. Now this could be selecting an existing add-on, an add-on that you already have listed with BackerKit. So you have a Kickstarter campaign. If you're not familiar with what add-ons are, they're kind of like upsells. You're offering something in addition to your core products. So maybe like, I don't know, if you're selling a fashion item, you're then selling gloves as like an add-on or something like that. Add-ons are meant to increase the overall pledge amount or order value. And you could also do stuff like you could duplicate an existing add-on and you can offer it at a different price if you wanted to for some reason in the, the actual pre-order project, the pre-order store here. And finally, you can create an add-on. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do right here is how to create an add-on and how we can do this pretty quickly. So just for, for, for the purposes of doing this video, I'm going to add another book that I've written um, to this online store. So we'll do real estate crowdfunding explained. This is a book that I wrote on real estate crowdfunding and specifically how you can use this to raise money. So we'll just say how to raise money for your real estate with crowdfunding. This is a simple description. We need an image here. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to pull up the image from amazon.com. This is my title for real estate crowdfunding, real estate. Um, and then we're going to upload this to this add-on. As you can see, this is pretty simple to do. Uploading it, and when it's ready, we'll just click done. There you go. There's the main image for this particular add-on or reward, as you might say, or item. We can set the price. So I'm selling this right now for $9.95 paperback on Amazon. Let's just say I'm gonna sell this for five bucks or five bucks on the store, and the retail price is $9.95. So you're actually getting a pretty good deal right there. Um, and if I want to, I can highlight this as a creator's choice. So the reason why you wanna set a different price than a retail price is like you wanna give people the feeling like they're getting a great deal when they come to your, your pre-order store. They wanna feel like they're getting an incredible price that's very different from what other people down the road are gonna get. And that's that should be legitimate, that's how it should be. So if you're gonna retail this product for 150 bucks, maybe list it for 130, um, you know, depending on what you can you can offer with your margins. In addition, you have different SKUs, you have different categories you could add or create. I have a books category here. And I also wanna collect shipping information because I want to ship out this book to individuals. We can have a limited quantity if we want. So let's just say I only have 50 books. And because we want to get our message out to as many people as possible, we will only limit one per backer. And there's also some other specifications here that you guys can see and you can read through. So I'm gonna save that. Right now I have three books here in my pre-order store. Um, there's some other stuff here that we could get into, like you know the advanced functionality, coupon codes if you wanted to, all these other things that are a little bit more advanced. I wanna go back to the store first just so you guys can see what this looks like on the online store. So I click this, uh, it refreshes, we go down, this book is featured here. 
I might need a better image there, a more high resolution image, but this is the featured image. And then you can see these other two books that are offered here. This is the creator's choice. Um, if we were to click one of these products, let's just say we're clicking this one, it'll bring up this. And now you have right there the retail price and then the actual price that's offered for, and you can click pre-order. And that will take you then to checkout page and you have to enter all of your information and such. So, so far we have a pre-order store. Didn't take very long, pretty simple to do. And um, all you basically need are the images and the copywriting that would go into creating this online store. You can already see one item has been added to our cart. Uh, so this is pretty good functionality in my opinion and a lot easier than doing something like a Shopify store. You know, this is pretty simple to, to set up and it also ties directly to your campaign page. So I wanna show you some other stuff that you can also do. Um, I think one of the, the like drawbacks of having a store on someone else's website, like this is test.backerkit.com. Um, one of the drawbacks is you don't have your own fully branded site. So if you wanted to offer this instead on your own website, you could very simply just copy and paste this pre-order widget. And then that store would pop up on your own website. You could also do other stuff like if you just want to have a link to an individual pre-order item on your website and you really want to advertise and you really want to draw attention to that, you could just copy and paste this little link and then people would be able to pre-order that item. So it's not like you are confined to using Backerkit. That's kind of my fear. Like one of the reasons why I always am very skeptical of selling things on other websites is like, I don't want to give those websites all of my customer data and like give them the full control over my brand and my business. The cool thing about this is if you want to just really easily use the functionality Backerkit creates, you can do that or you can put this on your own website. In addition, um, you can do stuff like you can download the CSV file of all of the people or all the backers that um, join your online store. You can also customize the analytics. This is the biggest part of marketing anything is without good analytics, you really aren't a marketer. You're just kind of shooting in the dark. So you install your Google Analytics code, the Facebook pixels, you can retarget people, continue to advertise to them on Facebook, create custom audiences, all these different things. Backerkit allows you to do that. They also have shipping where you can add, depending on where the person is, if they're in the United States, if they're in Australia, you can add different shipping rates um, depending on EU or United States. So there's a lot of customization ability here. There's a lot of um, information that I think for, for someone who is looking for a quick and easy way to set up an online store, um, I definitely recommend these guys. I think it's pretty simple to get started. You can edit any of these different reward tiers. Um, even just like say going in here, you made a mistake. Very easy to do. Um, and you can also look at some of the other functionality, you know, that goes a little bit more granular. So like things like um, creating surveys and, and dealing with these different elements of fulfilling your rewards. These are also things that Backer can offer. So the, the pre-order or the online store is actually only one component. So there's all these other things. You can create variants for your rewards, such as sizes, colors, etc. I also appreciate that with Backer Kit, you can create uh, add-on questions. So maybe like one of the questions is, hey, not only do you want to buy my book, but would you also like a coaching session or would you also like X, Y, or Z? So if for whatever reason, reason just the different variants for your add-ons are not enough you can also ask multiple choice questions free form questions um, you can actually even allow your backers to upload an image of some sort so you can also add questions to your various add-ons so this is a pretty good um, overview i would say of how backer kit works from the pre-order perspective very simple to get this set up. We did this in a matter of minutes. If you are interested, I will include a link down below where you can learn more about Backerkit and you can also then um, reach out to them. You can also you know, dive through some of their content. You can get a feeling for how they can help you out with other areas of your project, particularly in the surveys and that fulfillment stage of getting those those products out there to your backers and, and really doing all the, the hassle. You know, If you have more than 200 backers, it's a massive hassle, guys. Um, you got to have Excel spreadsheets. And if you want to sort of simplify Simplify all of that, you can use a tool like Backerkit and in addition to do a pre-order for this project. If you haven't yet, take a second to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Go and check out some of the other videos that I got out there for you and you can leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I will do my best to address them. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Salvador Brigman and I will see you next time.